What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl The Notorious and to the I to the A and today we are back with Ivy Park, okay? Ivy Park Rodeo has just launched and of course I picked up some pieces to show you guys because y'all know I love Ivy Park. I'm low-key obsessed. I have something from almost every drop excluding the last one which was the Flex Park, the swimsuits. Mm. Wasn't feeling the orange swimsuit so didn't even bother with that. But I have something from almost every single drop and I will insert the videos. Today we are talking about the Ivy Park Rodeo, Rodeo Park, because this is not our first one. I love the messaging of this launch. I love that she is shining a light on black history because us as black people, we invent a lot of dope shit period i'm just gonna say it we invent a lot of dope stuff and we don't get credit for it so i think it's really important that she shined a light on the history of black cowboys and cowgirls and rodeos because i had no idea i'm from the north okay so i'm not big on any of that but it's super dope to know that people who look like me are very prominent in that space because that is not what's advertised in mainstream media so I think this is super dope and I'm definitely here to support it and the collection caught my attention it caught my attention not gonna lie <laughs> it caught my attention so I was super excited to pick it up really excited to give you guys my thoughts on these looks I am clearly wearing one of the items right now but I'm gonna get into everything pricing sizing my thoughts if you guys are interested in seeing that, then let's get right into it. The first item that I got is this denim bodysuit. This was the first piece that caught my attention. I was like, mm, okay, I need that. I thought it was so beautiful. I love the details. And I'm showing you guys the details on the screen right here or right here somewhere. See attention to detail. Like this is a beautiful piece. Now for me, I can appreciate the built-in bra on this piece specifically i feel like i'm filling this out okay you know i feel like i don't have so much going on up here but i think it's doing my current situation just this. love the detailing it looks like a pair of jeans on the back it actually has a button like a pair of jeans and i love that the zipper is detailed too with the branding on the side i just really love details and clothing and this is really good quality like baby this is done on okay this is not fashion nova denim either this is denim denim <laughs> so the only issue with that is if you know you know ivy park sizing is all over the place so my issue typically with bodysuits is that i have a short torso it is very important for me to pay attention to how bodysuits are cut and shaped and everything like that i need my bodysuits to kind of be kind of fitted just so the sleeves won't fall off like that so this bodysuit i had got it in a small baby <laughs> i ripped it i ripped it it could not get past my thighs and my hips because this is denim so denim has very little stretch and although this is said to be a stretchier fabric of denim no this you need to size up if you want to get this bodysuit definitely size up because i ripped the zipper like zipper ripped and i was like so this is a medium that i'm currently wearing and this fits me a lot better the next piece that i have is this crop top and this is in the peach color i got this in a size small and it just looks like this i thought this was cute this was the second piece from the collection that caught my attention the color is a little bit spring if we're being honest and i think a lot of these drops were supposed to launch at different times like let's just be real COVID came messed everything up so i'm thinking this was supposed to be a spring launch but we got it in some just has this ivy park detailing on the neck and for me this is very high on your neck and i am not the biggest fan of stuff being all the way up on my neck and to me this kind of reminds me of a sports bra like it does what it needs to do for holding the girls up 
and giving you support I could get it from that because this is an athleisure piece like let's just remember what the collection is it is Adidas times Ivy Park it's athleisure you could dress it up you could dress it down you could go to the gym let's remember what this is but I just I don't know I also did not get anything else in this color so I'm just kind of like mm. It's not doing everything for me. It's cute though. Also, these zippers on the back, Beyonce, I have to zip up my own crop top. I, I, come on now. Like, it's a little bit difficult to zip these up on your own, but the detailing, the quality, everything else like that, these are great pieces. This is compressive, so it is okay. So, it's a nice piece. I just, I would more or less wear this as a sports bra and not a crop top, if that makes sense. So I have another crop top and this is the white one. And with this drop, I didn't get a lot of outfits. I know in the past, I normally, I tell you guys, I aim for one outfit or outfits, but this, I got a lot of tops and not a lot of bottoms because I really wasn't feeling the bottoms this time around. Now I do like this crop top more than the previous one and it just has the Ivy Park detailing right here in the front and I like it's more minimalistic. I definitely like this more. You have your three stripes running down the sleeves and you have this Adidas logo right here on the back. Now once again I don't care for this built-in bra situation and I feel like unfortunately on this top it is more of an issue for me because if you guys know that fashion rule that if you wear a white bra under a white top you're going to be able to see your bra and it's kind of a fashion no-no. So this shirt to me is exactly that like you put a white bra under a white shirt and you can see it. This doesn't look the best to me. I don't like when you can see the details under a white garment. I just don't like that. And I like this shirt though. So I'm conflicted because I could have did without this. I really wish you could take this out. That would have been a dope idea. Like if you could remove this situation, if you didn't want it, this top would be 10 out of 10 because the quality is great. Definitely good for fall, winter, this is that crop top. I don't think you should wear this currently because you're gonna burn. Like, this is keeping you warm. This is thick, okay? With two C's. And my other thing with this top is, once again, this zipper comes all the way down to the bottom. Now, I will admit that they did think about this and that's why the string on the zipper is so long and I did demonstrate for you guys. So it's not terrible. They did pay attention to detail. All right, so you know it wouldn't be me if we didn't get a cropped hoodie, okay? Especially these ones that scrunch up. This I got in a size small. They didn't have an extra small. I hopped right back on that Adidas app and they restocked the hoodie and I have an extra small on the way. Hoodies are personal preference. Honestly, they're meant to be cozy. So it really didn't matter that this was oversized like I am lucky swimming in it <laughs> it didn't matter that it was oversized though because it's a personal preference but I would just prefer for it to fit a little bit better so that's why I went with the extra small I got this because I'm not gonna lie that cow print grew on me I was like mm, okay okay and then the more I started looking at it I really loved the lavender with the brown I just thought that color combination was super pretty so that's what led to me getting the cropped hoodie to match because this outfit right here I was like oh baby yeah yeah <laughs> so I also have the leggings and these fit so well like so well so well okay this is quality and these fit a lot better than my black pack leggings and I can appreciate that because I don't know what was going on with some black pack and leggings but those they they feel a little tight they a little snug I just was like mm. but these are mm, 
the body yori yori okay the body in these leggings like they it really just sucks you in it hugs your ankles as you guys can see i almost like literally broke my dress there trying to show you guys just everything about these and i thought it was better for me to go with the hoodie and legging option as you can see in this picture i loved all of this by the way i just couldn't get with the hat because it's backless and i don't know i i, I just would prefer a full hat i don't know so i skipped the hat and the bag but i decided to go with this option for this print instead of the jacket or the skirt because the last time I got a skirt it just wasn't fitted enough for me like you know I'm not super bodacious so <laughs> it wasn't doing anything for my body shape and that's a no-no for me and then with the jacket I ordered the jacket with the icy park drop and I was swimming in it so I just didn't feel comfortable getting a jacket again and then on top of that i feel like this print is just a little bit overwhelming to wear up top so i opted for it on the bottom and i think this worked out a lot better for me personally oh, so that is everything that i got from this drop definitely let me know what was your favorite piece from this launch what you picked up your thoughts on everything because if you have ever shopped the ivy park drop you know you know it could be a little hectic i had a much better experience they sent me my email right away they didn't do no foolery like they did the last time with icy park where they told me that my order went through and it didn't so i definitely had a better experience this also came very quickly i ordered this on thursday and i believe it was here by sunday so super quick never got an ivy park order that fast so very happy very satisfied i know sizing can be a little bit of an issue you really have to do some trial and error so they tried to do a little better this time around with the size guide and they actually told you if it's a women's fit if it's unisex what size you should get because sometimes in the past it was like i'm wearing an extra small in something and I don't wear extra small <laughs> so it's like mm, okay I'm excited to see what she has coming next and I just think that we're gonna get another drop before 2021 is over a hundred percent because like I said I feel like this drop was meant for the spring and we also have one more quarter coming up so I definitely do think that Beyonce is gonna hit us with another drop very very soon so if you guys want to see more Ivy Park videos in the future or just you want to see me more in the future, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And make sure you check out my other Ivy Park videos. I mean, I have a lot. I mean, you can't buy it no more, but come on, y'all. Come on, support the girls. Support